Hi, everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Ms. Marvel from Marvel Comics. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look at the description and you find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. But not a full sketch because uh, I'm going to be honest with you, this is my third time to do this. I keep having mechanical problems, uh, the video stops, and and uh, it, it just doesn't work. So, I've had to do this a few times, and this is my third time to do it. So, the sketch is pretty much already done. So, a lot of people don't watch this sketch portion anyway, and that's okay. Because this is really for me. This is just for me to get the proportions down, get it where I want, and get the drawing ready. So, I figured rather than just start over, uh, I'm just going to go with what I already have where the video stopped. So that means less less uh, time before we get to the sharp portion. And that's okay because like I said, a lot of people don't watch the um, pencil portion anyway, so it's just faster. More so this we'll get there sooner, is basically what I'm trying to say. And maybe I could spend a little more time sketching uh, small details and getting those right. But I will talk about this, though. That's one thing that we I'm, I am going to lose, though, is that talking about why Ms. Marvel. I was talking about it in the previous ones, and so let's see if I can get through it again. I was watching the Marvel 616 series, and it's an amazing series, and it got me excited for all the... Um, Oh, pause. Okay, so I had to go back and get the pictures because I realized I didn't even have my reference pictures in front of me. I just started working with the sketch. I just hit record and started to hit the ground running. Um, so what was I saying? I was I was watching the Marvel 616 series and I got excited about all the comics and all the ideas that they're doing and everything. It was amazing. It's an amazing show. And so I, I kind of said, well, then let's start drawing them. I want to do, that's why I did Moon Girl and I'm gonna do Miles Morales soon. And anything they're talking about there, basically, because I just, I just, I love that show. So, the, the dilemma was, well, do I do Ms. Marvel or do I wait for her own show? Because, as I started this, they announced, you know, the Ms. Marvel show, that she's gonna be in the new um, uh, Captain Marvel and all that stuff. So I was like, wow, well, should I wait? Because I like doing stuff when it's relevant. So in other words, like when there's a movie out. And because that's when people are talking about it. That's when people are looking. That's when people want to do this stuff. So I was trying to debate. It's like, do I, do I, do I go ahead and do it? Or do I wait until there's a, a movie coming out? But again, it's going to be another couple of years. So I said, let's just do it. When the movie or the show comes out and she's in the movie and all that stuff, maybe I could do something again then. So I, I just said, yeah, let's just go because I, I like drawing and I don't want to wait. And I figure neither do you. I mean, if you're here, you don't want to wait either. You know, that's what it comes down to. Hopefully, my third time to charm, hopefully this drawing will come out better because I've done it three times or two more times before. So, you know, hopefully this is going to be that much better of a drawing, but you never know. It could be 100% wrong because that's how it goes sometimes. And if you see me jumping around like this, a lot of times I will... I will kind of lean back and look because the best thing you can ever do is, is take your picture and, and reverse it in the mirror and see what it looks like. But I can't do that. I, I, uh, you know, it's taped to the table. 
so I can't go back and look. And you can see what's wrong, and it helps you to, you know, re re uh, focus on the look. Again, I can't do that. So sometimes I kind of lean back and I, or I just kind of glance over the entire thing and see what's missing and and build off of that. So if you ever see me jumping around, basically that's what I'm doing. She's got a lot of curls. I like that. So I'm going to try to figure out how to do a bunch of them without getting too messy because I did it before and it did, it got messy. So I'm gonna see if I can, I can capture that again. And uh, not get too messy with it. Okay, so let's see. Um, all I really have left to do is do some kind of Sharpie portions again. See, that was a quick sketch that'll just uh, get us straight to the Sharpie edge. Um, so I'm gonna erase some of this pencil lines because this was pretty much just a sketch, just getting me here. And uh, I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil lines. So I'm just gonna lightly erase and erase some of my my sketch lines, but keep the confidence line. So as I was drawing, I was just throwing lines down, just trying to find the shape, trying to find the position. And as I got more confident, I pressed harder. So when I'm erasing now, the first lines, those sketch lines that were very light, they erase much faster. And the confidence lines, it takes more to erase them. So when I erase like this, I'm getting rid of the sketchiness and I'm following my confidence. I'm trying to erase lightly too because I'm trying a whole new rig setup and it's shaking the camera a lot. So I'm trying not to shake the camera too much. Again, it also helps me control how hard I'm pressing, pressing too when I erase. Okay, so I think that's good. I left enough that I can see where I'm going. So I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've erased, sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but I left myself enough to see where I'm gonna go. So I'm just gonna jump right in with the Sharpie pen and get going. So I've got her head, if these are her eyes, I've got her head turned like this a little bit. So we do have a, a little bit of a three quarters view. This one's gonna be bigger than this one. So I'm gonna draw the, the eyelids like this, just to see if I've got them in the right place. It looks good to me. So I'm gonna draw the retinas, so the, uh, the color part. And my, this drawing is, is tiny enough that I can't really do too much. So I'm just gonna add some, some little dabs for the pupils. I'm trying to hit it in the center because any more and it's gonna start to bleed uh, with my Sharpie. With pencil, you do the whole thing. You do what you wanna do, but I'm only gonna highlight. So I'm gonna come in like that for the bottom of the eye. Same thing there, same thing there. And there's not much I can really do over here up like maybe that. Let me add a little bit of like a, like a darker eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, but almost like a uh, um, eyelash at the top, just to highlight that it's a nice, pretty eye. Again, there's only so much I can do here, so I can't draw makeup or any of that stuff, you know, so that's, that's all I do for, for women's eyes. Now, she does have that mask on and her head is turned a little bit, but I do have a piece of hair flowing right in the middle of it. So I'm gonna do like this, just because I want that in front and then everything's behind. So that way I'm not drawing through the hair. Basically you draw what's in front first. So when you draw what's behind, there's only so much you have to draw on, not every single thing. And you also don't draw what's on top. So 
I, I kind of put it in a weird spot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the bridge of the nose down a little bit like this, and go ahead and draw the nose like this. I want to do more. Let's see if I can add like a see see it starts to bleed. Now it's like a little black mess right there. So I don't want to do anything else. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away and then draw the uh, uh, let's see let's draw the mouth and then we'll draw the face and then we'll draw the mask. Okay, so for the mouth. Do like this and all I'm gonna do for the bottom lip is just do like this I want to draw the rest of the lips but I'm afraid if I do it's gonna look like makeup like lipstick and I'm trying not to do that so we'll do that with color and I'm gonna leave them the facial features with defined with the sharpie like this so I'm gonna draw her chin and I'll work my way up to the side of the face like this now I'm gonna stop here because uh, I'm gonna draw hair and uh, I need to know where it's going to hit the top right there. So same thing here on the side. Let's go back a little bit like this. But I think I'm going to stop there so I can start drawing hair and see where it's going to connect. Also, I'm starting to thicken up these edges because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width. And I'm trying to match that. So let's draw some hair kind of flowing out. And she's got some, some curly locks kind of playing with locks like that so see that gave me a stopping point and I know we don't have eyebrows yet just, just bear with me um, and it tells me where we're gonna hit the so same thing just a couple of lines just to define um, the edges of the hair so now I can connect it right here Edge. And now I can draw the mask. Okay, there's that edge, and then I'm going to draw the outer edge, and that's the one you see here. hair kind of get in the way but that's okay that's all right because uh, we'll define some more with color fix what actually bumped into the hair real fast so good there we go so I've got uh, let's see the hair is gonna come over the scarf on this side but you're gonna see the scarf over here so let's go ahead and draw all those edges of the scarf so we know where we are Draw what's in front, then you draw what's behind. So the way I've got it, it's, uh, it's in front of it, like I said there. And so I'm just playing with some hairlines. Now, I said I'm not going to draw every single hairline, so I need to stick to that. I need to follow, follow what I was doing. We're going to say that's where our hair is parted. And we're going to flip it back like this. Just the, the edge that I want to do. Now I'm going to I'm going to play around with some uh, curls. Now I said I wasn't going to draw every hairline, so I need to stick to that. I need to you know follow through with what I said because it does get messy in here. Here, I was gonna say, like I said in the, uh, in the sketch, this is my third time to do this. It's gone wrong a few times, so I know how messy this gets from experience. So that's why I'm trying to wrangle it in a little bit. Uh, okay, so like I said, I want to thicken up my edges. You don't have to do this, especially if you're working with pencil. Don't worry about thickening up the edges. I'm just doing it because I know what that's gonna do.
like a an off strand, you know? Because they're not all against her head. Some of them are some loose, loose strands that are just kind of flowing everywhere. Okay. Plus it's nice, it gives it a nice build, a nice shape. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna switch over to the other Sharpie now and start off with the other details. So she has uh, the scarf and the the design, the uh, the, the like little light and bolt pattern. I'm gonna do that with color. I'm just gonna draw the shape of everything and uh, worry about the the uh, um, the color to, to print out to print out to to highlight the uh, the the highlights basically. That's the easiest way to say it. Highlight the highlights, right? Okay, so her scarf is gonna come down a little bit like this. And I'm gonna come back here. So see how thick that is? That's what I'm talking about, how I want to match uh, what it does. Okay, so I'm gonna draw her. Let's go ahead and just draw the whole skirt um, and, and highlight it or, or give us, that'll give us start stop points. Shoulder's gonna be like this. That'll kind of guide us as to where everything goes to. Okay. Her, her back is looking here to her hips. So that's almost it that I'm gonna do for the skirt. I'll do a, like a few little uh, bends for the, uh, um, you know, uh, body, you know, the body bends and things like that. Let's see, for her breasts, we're just gonna go across like this. And that's gonna be it. I'm gonna do the little edge like that. Do another one there. And then it does have tiny seam like this and again that Z it'll look better in color so I'm not gonna not gonna do anything else there oh one more across the bottom if you can do it it's hard for me because I want to turn my paper but I can't it's a little highlight like that and if you go into the other line it's no big deal don't worry about it it's all right it happens all right, uh, let's see. So I'm gonna draw her hand out. She's pretty much doing this, but of course one hand is bigger. So I'm gonna draw her, her sleeve, her shoulder, down to her the crook of her arm. There's the sleeve right there. We're gonna go and go back so you see where we are. That, I'm gonna go up to her wrist, or from her wrist to her arm. So I'm a puller more than I am a pusher. It's easier for me to pull. At, at least with the paper like this. Um, same thing, I've got our hands and, and fists, both of them do. So I'm gonna come up here for the thumb. And then the back of the hand. Let's see if we can do this with this big Sharpie. All right, not bad. Looks a little wonky, right? Well, that's what we're gonna come back and do some highlight in here. Fix a few things. And that's the downside of, of using a big Sharpie like this is, is we are, we're kind of stuck with the, the, the weight of the Sharpie, you know? But I want you to be able to just grab what you have around the house, you know, a pencil, Sharpie, whatever. I don't want you to have to buy a whole bunch of art supplies. If you do, go for it. That's awesome. That's great. But if you just find this video and you want to draw too, I'm doing it with the supplies that are just lying around the house. Go ask your parents or whoever you're with for a Sharpie or a pencil, and you'll be able to just play along with us, you know? That's the whole idea. Okay. So I'm going to draw the other hand, and it, we're going to exaggerate this one. This is going to be the big hand. So shoulder, big old arm to the crook, like that. We'll do this side so you see where I'm talking about. There's the 
elbow, and it's going to go up to her uh, bracelets. Like that. And this is where it's going to start to expand and get bigger. So. Again, same thing, that kind of hand, but much bigger, so we can add a little bit more detail. So, here are the knuckles. First finger. I'll go ahead and show you the thumb so you see where we are. And so, let's see, this finger is like this. Three, two. Okay, so I need to explain what just happened. The camera died. This is my... Um, this is my third time to record, but technically, this is my, my fifth or sixth trying to get this right. So, rather than start from scratch, I've already done it, like I said, five or six times. We're just going to kick in and, and finish it up because I'm super frustrated and I want to get this done for you guys. So, I'm just going to pick it up where it is and all you missed were the arms and then we're going to do the legs and get going. Then I got to figure something else out. So, sometimes we got to work. Sometimes it doesn't work and I gotta figure out how to make this work. So I'm just gonna do a few of these extra lines and that's all I really you really missed is I uh, just drawing the hand like this. So we're gonna we're just gonna kick it back in and finish this up and get going. So I can figure out something for you guys for the camera because it didn't work. I gotta figure something else out and we, we gotta we gotta Day daily, right? Okay, so let's finish up the legs. Uh, I'm just gonna draw, basically, let me make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Yeah, just basically legs and boots. So I'm gonna come down here for the knee, like this. The leg is gonna come through here like this, it's gonna come back, like that. This is where the boot's gonna be. Down like this. This one down here. You know, and if nothing else, this is a good lesson of things happen, things go wrong, things fall apart, and it's just up to us to just say, well, this is what I got to work with. Let's make it work, you know? It's frustrating, it's super frustrating. And allow yourself enough time to be upset. After this recording, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very angry, I'm gonna be upset, but that's okay because I allow myself to have those feelings. And then uh, we'll go from there because all you're really doing is is you know giving yourself permission to uh, to, to feel the emotions. Don't suppress them, you know? That's that's the thing. Feel those emotions. Right, and, and because it's just, you know, a skin-tight cloth, there's not a lot I can really do here besides just a few wrinkle lines like that. This is super jumpy. What happened here? I'm very smooth. I think I'm just angry, and so my hands are just... <laughs> you know? Okay, so... Let me just go ahead and finish this up real quick. Come down here for the boot. And you know, if, if I apologize if you want to see how to draw those hands. I, I'm gonna end up doing it again whenever her movie's made or a TV show comes out, whatever it's gonna be. So don't worry, it's gonna happen again. I, I, I just, I have to walk away from this because I've done it so many times and it's, it's, uh, it's time to fix a few things, take care of some stuff, and, and finish this up. Okay, and so for the boots, I like to do like this, like a little, little bit of a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, crease line, just to kind of show that it's, it's, it's used and worn. So the last thing we're going to do is I'm just gonna draw her, her scarf kind of flowing out this way. So it's gonna go like this, come back. So since you can't see it, we're gonna pick it up right here. Do something like this. This 
edge is going to come back here and flow back through it like that. So almost the same thing here, but we're going to do kind of a ribbon here. So this one's going to come through something like that. This edge is going to go back behind it like that. And there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Ms. Marvel from Marvel Comics. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.